Hello everybody, uh, this next quick video is on the Ubuntu or the GNOME keyring and password manager. Uh, best way I can describe this is this is kind of like um, LastPass, only for your computer. If you come from the Mac world, uh, you should basically understand this. This is a built-in system of uh, keeping your passwords, your super complex uh, passwords safe. The best, for instance, I can give this is if you connect to a Wi-Fi network, the very first time you put in your WEP or WPA password key and hit connect, upon a successful connection, you will be prompted with a key ring password manager screen to create a password for this entire key ring. Now, if you're on a device that never leaves your house and you trust everyone in your house wholeheartedly and you have absolute faith this computer will never fall into the wrong hands, the secret is to leave both of those passwords empty and then hit create. And it will warn you that you're disabling the password uh, key ring. Are you sure you want to do that? Hit OK. If your computer does go outside the house, though, go ahead and create a password that you're going to use and that one password is like the password to a vault of different passwords. Every app, every application using your key ring will be listed under here. So if I had a network account using Wi-Fi, it'll be listed here. If I logged in with the me menu to Twitter or Facebook, it would be listed here. This is the central hub of where things are stored. So if you like change your um a Twitter account, you delete the old one, create a new one, and you want to wipe out the old one, you should come into your password and encryption keys manager and delete that entry. Um, it's just one of those things that sometimes new users get bugged by that pop-up. It kind of reminds them of Windows Vista N7. Whenever they connect to a wireless network, it's asking them for a password. I have very good control over my computer, so I leave those passwords blank and hit OK or cancel. Except on truly portable devices, I do let that password stick, and I do use it. Uh, it's a very secure tool, and I highly encourage everyone to understand it before they just dismiss it. We're going to move to the next video.